Hi, my name is Jan. I'm with the DownTube, and in this video, I want to talk about mirrors. And so there are a few different style mirrors, and you know, I'm going to share with you what my favorite is. Um, first of all, they have helmet-based mirrors, which which are great for road riders if you're not if you're going to be in nice terrain, but if you're going to be doing any kind of off-roading or anything, the the helmet-based mirror is just not going to work. Right? It's a really nice minimalistic concept, super light, super small. I definitely appreciate them a lot. Um, but you know, commuters, they, you know, I don't think they use them too much. To be completely honest with you, I think it's more of a road cycling kind of thing. Then you have some, you know, mirrors. You know, my my oldest mirror I think was a Bell, from what I recall. You know, my first cross country bike tour, and it had a Velcro strap which I attached to um, to the grip area, and it was horrible. <laughs> simply because the Velcro strap is guaranteed to move around, especially in wind. And so every time you look, the mirror is somewhere else. It was the weirdest, weirdest thing. So, I mean, it, you know, it was better than nothing, but it was, it was definitely kind of weird. Eventually, I got this really cool mirror that, that didn't work for anything, but you attach it to the down tube of, of your bike, you know, a regular triangular frame. And it's a mirror, so you just look down between your legs, and, and you're supposed to be able to see. But it, it just didn't work. It was a really great idea. I, I actually think it's a good idea, and it, I think there's an implementation for that idea. But the, the one that I got was, was not was not okay. Um, but eventually, about 15 years ago, I started using these mirror cycles, uh, mirrors, M I R R M I R R Y C L E. Right? These are awesome. Um, first of all, they bolt in inside the handlebar, you know, with a three millimeter Allen bolt, and they, they stay steady. And everything about them is adjustable. I mean, I can move this, I can move this, and I can tighten it in, in place, so it is exactly where I need it to be. And if something does happen, you know, like an impact and it moves, I can always move the, you know, it, the, move it back or move something else in a different dimension to make sure to accommodate for that until I can tighten it up again. You know, if you crash it or something, it's not a big deal. Uh, the mirror part itself is hard to break. I have broken them, you know, but I can say these are actually pretty solid. They, they work really great. And the shocking part for me, you know, when I started using these, I was like, wow, these are so nice. I couldn't believe, you know, these are so much better than all the other mirrors in the market. You know, almost everybody's copied this company at this point. But I still, I highly recommend them them because they started well. They're really nice. Um, but the really cool thing is I even put this on my drop bar bike. Now they sell specific you know, mirrors for drop, but even with this I was able to actually just shove it in and it, it, it worked perfectly. So I had it on a touring bike my, you know, with drop bars. This mirror has been definitely my favorite over the years. So you know, just make sure you get something that bolts in, doesn't move around, and it'll be set. Thank you very much for watching.